I've completed the uh, the base from the last episode, and I have um, I covered the anodized aluminum with with contact paper, and then I went around and sanded the the edges using the uh, micro mesh paper that we used back a while ago to sand the gears, and it came out. Well, Corian, uh, I love working with Corian because if you can get a uh, a really mirrored polished finish on it. I doubt you can see that in the video, but it looks really nice. Anyway, I'm using, uh, I'm about to do the engraving now on the top, and I'm using a diamond engraver. Uh, this is a new toy for me. I used to do my engraving with a, just a very fine bit that would rotate at a very high RPM. Uh, this gives a very different and, and more quality result. There is a industrial diamond at the end of the tip here, and then inside the uh, the shaft is a spring. Uh, and what we're, I've already set the Z point, you know, where the diamond just touches the surface. But I've told my software, the G code, to do its milling at an eighth uh, an eighth of an inch below the surface. So what's going to happen is, you know, the head is going to come down, the spring is going to compress, so that there's a lot of pressure on here. And then the diamond will just scratch the anodization layer off, revealing the uh, silver colored aluminum underneath. And uh, Let me get started rather than talking about it. Let's see. Um, the spindle is turned off. Zero RPM. So we're just, this is called diamond drag engraving because we're simply dragging the diamond around to do it. Um, and the nice thing is uh, you use a feed rate of uh, 25 inches a minute, so it's really, uh, really moving. What I'm engraving here, um, around this circle will be a hundred tick marks representing the years in a century. Uh, it's right now. It's doing the um, the ten year markings. So that's zero, ten, twenty. You know, so of course, twenty to twenty twenty will be pointing here. Uh, and in the orrery, there will be a uh, a pointer that moves along with the gear train that shows you what year uh, is represented. And up high on the orrery is another engraving that shows you the the month and day. I, uh, I hope the camera is picking this up. It's, uh, you know, what I'm brushing with with my hand here are just little Yeah, pieces of uh, anodization that's, that's being removed. Uh, should start to get the idea now of uh, how this is going. When it finishes all the tick marks, I mean, it, the software picks what order it's going to do things in, but it already put a zero here. Um, but it's going to count off, you know, there'll be digits from zero, 10, 20, you know, all the way around to 90 and back to zero, so it can represent any year in any century, depending on where you've got, it, where you've got the planet's position. It's been running for about uh, seven minutes now, and it is um, putting in the markers for every fifth year. And as soon as it finishes doing that, um, it'll uh, go back and do the digits. So 
that's the last of that. And that's it for the uh, century markings. I'm uh, the, uh, the the piece is just held to the um, to the table with two-faced tape onto a piece of ABS wasteboard. You know, because there are no real forces moving this thing around, so two-faced tape is great for this. I'm now adding uh, a little bit of personalization. It's uh, I'm actually going to be putting my um, my name and the date on this thing. And if you've seen my website, you've seen that I've been building projects for most of my life, and I've never signed anything before. Uh, but my friends have been giving me a hard time that I would have signed my work. So you know, witnessing the first time I've ever signed anything other than other than a check. Some of the letters go very quickly and other ones take a very long time. Um, it just has to do with the way the software breaks a, a, a letter down into individual uh, line segments and, and how many there are going to be. It's just filling in the last, uh, the last bit of the engraving, which is the, the year. You can probably see the nice effect of the aluminum glued to the corian here. It gives a nice band all the way around. Um, that's it, my first autographed piece of work.